Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Dragoon, right here on Missledyne Online. In the last episode, we freed the nanny and all of the victims of the Black Monster from their eternal hold on the Phantom Ship. We were able to free them. Somehow, they saw Shauna as the Princess Lufia. But of course, with their hold over the Phantom Ship gone, it sank, taking Rose and Dart with it. But lucky for us, they ended up in this here cavern together. Dart and Zeke, they're so much alike. Not only are they dragoons recognized by the red-eyed dragon, but there's something else, something that attracts me. After 11,000 years of time, I now feel the strength and tenderness of Dart and even his frailty. These tame the insanity of the Dragoon for me. <laughs> See, if my hands could grab him, I wouldn't have had this bitterness. I hope you guys are ready for one of the best cutscenes ever made. Yeah. Yeah. The last day of the dragon campaign, the day that all of the dragoons except for Rose fell. I saw Zeg and Dart. But Dart is Dart. He is not Zeg. No. He is not Zeg. Well, that explains why Rose is so attached to Dart. She sees her... 
see Zeke in him. Look at the puppy. Can you pet the puppy? And by puppy, I mean, look at the triangles. Poots, what's wrong? Oh my God, there's somebody there. Whoa, there's actually two somebodies. Hi guys, wake up. Welcome friends to the village of Lidiera. Look at how tiny it is. Pooch, you like him, don't ya? I was surprised. Nobody would think there are people there. We are saved thanks to you, Pete. We have to thank Pooch, too. By the way, are you in love with each other? Because you two are traveling alone. Uh, do you think so? I think so. Don't they look it? Yes, you make a good couple. Don't be silly. I don't know. You were just holding me when I was sleeping, so... We were just looking for our friends. Actually, there are seven of us. Okay, but you don't need to be shy. <laughs> are you sick? Oh, it's nothing. <coughs> Actually, we should have been to the clinic in the neighboring town neighboring town. It's Fueno. There is a port and they have a boat to Denau. You know what? The Queen Fury might have dropped by. We gotta go. But why don't you take your mother to Fueno? Because there's a monster on the way in the undersea cavern. I know we rarely have guests, but we have to let them go, Pete. Mr. Dart, I hope you can meet your friends soon. I hope so, too. Say hi to everybody, okay? You got it, Pete. Pooch. Pete's ma. Come on, Rose. Let's skadoodles. So our party now is just Rose and Dart. Uh, and we're going to quickly go through this town, the village of Lidiera, uh, which we can actually get around by uh, these stones here, which will allow us to like go up to this. How do we open this? I don't know. How do we open this? Uh, but there is some little areas that you can kind of check out. So if we use this boat here, uh, we'll be able to actually choose where to go. So we can move to the pier or we can move to the ocean terrace. We're going to move to the ocean terrace real quick. And this place is very, very tiny. Obviously, it's the village of Lidiera, but there's literally like, like five people here. A sea dragon's making a mess of Elisa Bay. It's too dangerous to go fishing. Hey, I was this close. We fishermen are going to go bust because we cannot go fishing. Hey, thanks. I made it. Recently, monsters appeared in the undersea cabin. It's too risky to go to Fueno. Come on. Be good to me, baby. All right. I think they're playing a game. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to move to the pier here. Uh, there is a stardust in this town and a healing potion that we can pick up. Uh, of course, the healing potion I'm just going to pick up because, you know, that's just uh, that's just the way I am, baby. Uh, and it's a, it's an item, so there's water in it. I wonder if it's drinking water. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so the inn is right here. Oh, dart! Oh, I didn't mean to leave. I wanted the chest. I didn't mean... Sorry! <sighs> What's wrong? Would you please take us to Fueno? I'm afraid of the monster, but we got to go before it's too late. It's about your mother, isn't it? I want her to be in the hospital. Hmm. You got it. We'll take you there. I can annihilate the monster for you. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Uh... 
Thank you. I'll bring my ma. <laughs> I can annihilate the monster. What are you looking at? No, nothing. You're just scary, dude. You are actually terrifying. You guys ready? I'll take ya. All right, let's grab this uh, this chest real quick, which we oh, can't carry any more items. There we go. We got a healing potion. Good, perfect. Uh, there's another house that you can go into right here. Just so we can talk to people and see like what's going on. Everything in my house leans to one side. What am I gonna do? Well, your house is kind of leaning to what? Look at those guys on the terrace. Just because they cannot go fishing, they're sulking and just fooling around. All right, you guys seem, you got, you guys got some stuff going on in this village. Like your house is lopsided. Honestly, I thought it was destroyed, but nope, you live there. Anyways, we want to take this ladder up here uh, so that we can go up here. Hello. The game the mayor and the others are playing is for three guys. I got left out, so I'm sunbathing here. You're, sun you're sunbathing at the moment? Anyways, we want to use this ladder to go down. That guy won't let us onto the lift. It's fine. So we're kind of in like a, a little cage area. Kind of weird. Right? It's a little strange. Why would we be in here? It seems lonely on the shelf. But if you check this shelf here, you will find a Stardust. One of the weirdest located Stardust. Actually, it's like somebody stashes in it. Let's leave it. Yeah, it, it's just weird to me that that's there. Uh, it's literally a ladder into what looks like a prison room with a bunch of stuff in it that just so happens to have the 33rd uh, Stardust that we could possibly find in the game. I, you know, I don't know, man. So if we go inside, uh, this is actually the inn, even though it looks like it looks like a scary thing. She lost her hubby in the sea when Pete was still little, but being the woman that she is, she worked hard and raised Pete. But as fate would have it, Pete's mom became ill. Now Pete's taking care of her, but she's got to go to Fueno as soon as possible to be treated. There's a hot spring in the Fueno Clinic, and it's famous for working miracles. I've always wanted to go there, although I've never had the chance. But I heard it really works when the guy next door had a strained back, and we, he went there. Dude, you talk a lot, dude. Like a, like a real lot. Now that cave that had the grate over it, uh, that uh, we will be able to go there eventually because there are items in there, but not yet. So we'll find ourselves on the world map after leaving Lidiera, which don't worry, we'll be back to the village. And in front of us is the undersea cavern, which we are going to go ahead and enter. Now you could get into some random encounters on your way. Uh, typically you'll run into a screw shell. It is a water elemental 160 health. Uh, don't worry, we'll be fighting those at, uh, we'll see them, trust. So this is the undersea cavern, unfortunately. Since the monster appeared, the water has never ebbed. But it's okay, because Fueno is not this way. Hmm. So it looks like we just can't go this way. The water is stopping us. Our first random encounter in the undersea cavern. There we go. We got a mermaid. And two sea piranhas. So we have uh, mermaid, two sea piranhas. Uh, all of these are water elementals, so they are weak to Dart's Heat Blade. You also want to kill the sea piranhas, typically in one hit, uh, because once they drop to red health, they will actually start casting magic at you. Uh, and we don't really want that to happen. Obviously, Dart will take increased damage from anything that they cast. But we don't have to worry about that when we can get a big old madness hero. Now, again, this is a decent time to get XP uh, because there is only two of us in the party. Of course, that means that, you know, bigger chances of potentially dying. But still, let's see how much XP we actually get for this battle. 189, which means Rose here will hit level 23. Remember, that's only split in half for each person. So that's 94, uh, 95 ish for everybody. That's pretty good XP. But that's as far as we can go in the undersea cavern. It's literally just that one frame for now, but you can see in the distance uh, where it actually is. Now the enemies that you can encounter on the world map here are the same that you in can encounter later on. Uh, so it's not a big deal. There's nothing that's really missable here. The only things that are missable 
is an enemy in this undersea cavern and a sea piranha. Uh, and of course, the undersea cavern itself. Once we get there proper, uh, we will be... That is it. That is the last time that we can go there. Only 70 XP. So I don't recommend fighting on the, the actual world map because you typically will only ever uh, encounter an enemy at a time and not like a group of enemies. Uh, so that is no bueno. Uh, right here, the city of Fueno. Or Fu Funo. Funo? Fueno. I like Fueno. Sounds, sounds more fun to say. Here we are at Fueno. Thank you, Dart and Rose. <clears throat> you have to get better soon to make Pete happy. I hope you can find your friends soon. Oh, Pete and his puppers. And his ma. But are you actually in love with each other? Because in that cave, you shut up. You are a good boy and didn't see anything, okay? Uh, okay, I didn't see it, maybe. It's nothing. We're going. Bye! I gotta go. She's gonna kill me. So cute. Rose, you gotta confess to him. Shut up, kid! Kids. As he runs away into the clinic, which is, well, you guessed it, exactly where we have to go. What are you looking at? <laughs> Nothing? Nope. Not me. I wasn't looking. Well, so it's just Rose and Dart, uh, unfortunately, here in Fueno. Or fortunately, just depending on how you look at it. Now, this guy looks an awful lot like the merchant that we've seen before. Old man at item shop. We can check out his wares and see what he's got here. Uh, including some burnouts and some gushing magmas, my friends, which uh, this is finally where we can just buy burnouts and I don't have to farm them off of sea dragons or anything like that. Uh, this is a, a really good time to actually buy these things um, and I would recommend uh, doing so. All right, so I bought two burnouts and two gushing magmas, which I think will be uh, uh, pretty good for what we're going to encounter. Obviously, uh, hang on, can I just show do you guys do pay attention? Pay attention to the screen real quick. Ready? Wait. <laughs> I can make this guy run up and down. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? Why don't you just why don't you just stay in one booth and sell both things, you fool? All right. All right. I'm done. I'm done making him run up and down the stairs. Anyways, we can check out this guy's uh, weapon shop here. And first and foremost, you're going to notice that there is the Fal Fal Falcon. Fal I never know how to say this darn word. Uh, but this is the newest sword for Dart, which is an upgrade, and we are going to buy it. But we're not going to equip it right now, because the Undersea Cavern and the bosses that come in are all Water Elementals, and uh, Heat Blade is obviously better for that. So it's actually, the game kind of tries to deceive you here. It is an 8-point attack upgrade, but the Magic Element actually makes the Heat Blade better. I just want to point that out. And obviously, they sell a Bemusing Arrow, even though I just spent forever farming it out. We have it. And a Morning Star for Miru, which uh, you could have gotten as a rare drop from the Helena Warden, which I believe I mentioned uh, way back in the day. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And everything else we pretty much have. Um, the Sparkle Dress I will buy and equip to Rose. Uh, Dart already has the Night Helm and Plate Mail, uh, so we don't have to equip any of those items. Uh, I believe Albert right now has the Plate Mail equipped. It's a the weapon that, or the armor that we got from the Grem and Fey brand fight. Look, look, lots of aunties are carrying a grasshopper. Okay. That's weird. Welcome to Fueno, the town of relaxation and commerce. There's actually a really funny thing here that I want to show you guys real quick. So if we go up to this save point and we save the game. Look at the very top here. Chapter 2, Platinum Shadow. Fi... Fi Uno? And then your save file will also say Fiuno. Why is that? It's a nice day today. Dude, this is another... I love how all of the major towns in uh, Tiburoa, which this is technically in Tiburoa, they all are on uh, Coastal, which I think is very, very, very cool. Anyways, we can head into these rooms here just to check out some stuff. 
Look at this. It is a spa. Eek! Oh, this is the woman's spa. Oh my, oh my God. Coming into the bath with your armor on is unforgivable. Oh, that's, sorry, I thought, okay, sorry. <clears throat> I thought, Never mind. Forget it. I was thinking we were, we were, well, and this here is for the, the boys. This is, this is for the boys room. We cannot put our ship to sea, so we have no choice but to kill time bathing in the hot spring. Forget about work and soak in a hot spring. Oh, what could make me happier? Being in the other hot spring. <laughs> Am I right? So I just want to point out those hot springs. I think it's pretty cute. And then uh, up in here, we have the clinic because we actually saw Pete and Pete's ma and the pooch uh, run in here. They're actually getting the care that they need. Uh, but there is also uh, something that we can find right here. I never heard of the painter of this painting, but I have seen this somewhere and we'll get a stardust. There's actually two stardust in Fueno uh, that we can pick up. Ouch, ouch, my, my stomach. Oh, I gotta poop. We have a clinical facility that takes advantage of our abundant hot springs. Well, that's neat. They say I have an illness that's not curable, even with clinical rays. Oh, sorry. How's Pete and his ma doing? Hey, Dart, did you find your friends? No. Oh, well, but you'll find them soon. Thanks to you, I made it to the hospital. I really appreciate it, you two. Oh, you're welcome, Pete's ma. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a swordsman just like you, Dart. You got it, Pete. Maybe don't be just like Dart. This guy's kind of a mess. But uh, we can go up into these rooms. I just like exploring whenever we get to a new town. This is where the actual clinic is. And uh, also, Pooch is up here. Hi, buddy. Hi, bud. He went up here on his own. He's like, I'm not hanging out with Pete and Pete's ma. Mm -mm, I'm on my own. I'm a big dog. Let's hope that we find our friends soon. I sure do miss them. They were nice to us. And here is the inn, which is also the location of our uh, second and final Stardust of Bueno. The stone in the back is another Stardust. Guys, we're cruising on that. Also, if you peep the top of the stairs there, you will see that a character is was trying to and couldn't. It was stuck. I Listen, I don't know. Anyways, this is the inn. But I can't. Can I talk to you or no? You don't want to talk? Bruh. Excuse me. Sorry, but all the rooms are full. If you really want to stay here, come back on another day. Well, this place sucks. God, it's almost like the game is pushing me down these stairs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that big ship right there? Wait a minute. The boat hasn't come, and I cannot get any in, in any stock. The boat hasn't come, and I have nobody to sell to. I can't do any business. That guy's life sucks. Hey, hey, look, it's the Queen Fury. The Queen Fury's here. Look, it's Kayla. Well, in that storm, even for the powerful Dart and Rose. Dude, you are. Wow, Mr. Dart, Miss Rose. Kayla, I had you worried. Thank God, both of you are safe. That was nothing. Oh, did you see Miss Shauna? Please go see her, hurry. She hasn't spoken even a word since you disappeared. She loves us. Is she on the boat? Everybody's in the city now. I was just in the city. All right, well, we can talk to them if we so choose. Please go see Miss Shauna and hurry. Okay, but can I talk to people first? Your friends are staying at a hotel downtown so that Miss Shauna can rest. Okay, but I was told all the rooms were full, and uh, this is just a misunderstanding. It must have been very hard to carry all of this. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. We're still fixing the engine room. We're all rushing around in the ship. You better not go in the ship. Okay, I guess I can't go in the ship. Wait, can I? Uh, can I can he yell? Okay, he's just blocking the way. Whatever, guy. Big guy blocking the way. All right, back to the hotel. Oh, wait. Ow. Ouch! Don't you have eyes? Miru? Oh! Dart Rose! I knew it. You guys are alive. Did you see Shauna? 
bad boy. Come with me quickly. I love how she like hops over that bench. We're in the hotel. Come quick. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I love how eager Dart is to see Shauna and how Shauna literally hasn't said a word just because she misses Dart so much. Excuse me. I'm crying a little bit inside. Hmm? She said the hotel. Miru, where is she? Who am I? Hmm? Whoa! Where did they where did they come from? You guys are slow pokes. Welcome back. Hmm. We were tired of waiting for you. You die? Hmm. Impossible. Everybody except for <laughs> yeah we made it we cuddled in a cave for a little while yeah ro hurry go see shauna <laughs> she's in the back room upstairs okay i gotta go let's leave them alone rose she has changed somehow i agree indeed i got the impression that she has calmed down in any event, it's a good thing. Okay. They said back room, so does that mean... <gasps> Look at how big the beds are. Chana. <gasps> dart? No, oh, Dart. I made you worried. Are you crying? It was nothing. I'm so happy that I'm crying. So... Please don't say anything. I'm happy just like this. Peeking is not a ladylike thing to do. I thought you wanted to leave them alone, didn't you? Hmm? It's okay for me. I gotta learn about love and romance. You guys go back, or we're gonna be caught. Kids. Guess who it is. Guess who it is. Ready? <laughs> Miru, Hatchel, and Albert. <laughs> Please excuse us. <laughs> Typical of Miru. Finally, you smiled. True. It's been a while. Kiss, 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 kiss! And this and that, we finally made it to Fueno. It actually wasn't really a long journey. We woke up in a cave, we went to a village, we came here. Not only that, you two are safe and sound. It is just a miracle that the seven of us can meet again. We have to offer our thanks to the Tiburoan god. We ought to return the favor to the god by taking the moon dagger back. We have to catch Linus then. May I ask you a question, please? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal like that? You guys were alone in the cave, weren't you? Did you guys put yourselves into, uh... A romantic situation? Miru, don't be silly. Even though you are trying to learn about love, it's too rude. Okay. So, Dart, did you cuddle with Rose? Ratchel! <laughs> sorry, sorry, it slipped out. What do you mean, slipped? <laughs> don't worry, Shauna. Dart was concerned about you the whole time. Anyway, about Linus. We should go out and ask about her in the city. We may find out something. I... I agree. What's the perfect party now? Well, we still don't have Rose at Dragoon level 5, so we're going to put somebody in who doesn't uh, have it yet. So Albert and Rose. I feel like we're going in time with this, with this party here. 
Uh, but now that we have them, we can actually go in into this clinic and uh, Pete and his mom might have something a little bit more to say now. Let's see. Hey, it's you. My doctor says I can go home in a little while. When I grow up, I'm going to be a good doctor. Oh, that was really cute. We saved her. Guys, that was all us. If we talk to him again, they're not going to say anything different. Uh, they're just going to say that she can go home, which is very exciting. Uh, because of us, and, and because of Pete, honestly, uh, we his mom, his mom is saved. And that's just, you know, that's a nice thing. All right. So we can walk around Fu Fueno if we want. I also realized something, and it's so late uh, that I can't, I obviously can't fix this. Uh, I actually did not grab a Morning Star from any of the Helena guards, uh, Helena wardens, while we were there. Um, and uh, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. Listen, I'm pretty upset about it, to be totally honest with you. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's really, really eating at my completionist. Uh, but it's fine. It's not like we missed the item. We can grab it right now. And now we have the Morning Star uh, permanently equipped on uh, on Miru now. So I just wanted I just wanted to point that out. Apparently I didn't grab it. It's weird because I knew about it. I just didn't think of getting it. Um, yeah, pretty pretty upset about that. Please don't make fun of me. The Morning Star doesn't have any extra effects or anything like that, uh, but it does it does increase her damage uh, by about five. So it's not bad um, and will be useful uh, if we ever use her in a party, which, uh, spoiler, <laughs> we will use her in a party. Um, I'm very actually excited uh, about it because I love, I, as you guys know, I love Miru very, very much. All right, so we want to actually head down here back to the uh the the queen fury we have to go after linus that's that's like a super important thing right now right so there's a bunch of kids playing gosh the queen fury's huge we can head this way almanor Bueller, what's going on dart rose i was sure that you were alive i cannot die that easily at least not until we get linus linus what's wrong so all of a sudden I got information about her it seems that monsters we've never seen before started to infest the area a half year ago moreover those monsters are spreading out the place is called the prison island it's a small island surrounded by rocks located in the center of the sand Christ islands I heard you can go through an undersea cavern hmm a half year ago it's the same time that Lena switched with Princess Emile isn't it Bingo. We're gonna go check out the prison island. Yes, we are. How do we get there, though? Because there was the flooding and everything else. We still need more time for the departure of the Queen Fury. The injured room is still not completely fixed. And you can't actually go into the Queen Fury because that, that guy is still guarding our way and being a butt. So, no, no butts. No butts allowed. So, we can actually head up here. And we want to, we want to, I mean, that's pretty much all we can do here in Fueno at the moment. So, what is this guy doing? Looks like he's... Yeah, you don't believe me either. I really saw it. Yeah, I saw a dragon on prison island. Mm -hmm. Dragon? On the prison island? <laughs> you don't know that. My ship was smashed by the sea dragon rumor to live over the undersea cavern. I got have a drink or something. But, <clears throat> you can't go there anymore. Lots of monsters there. My house was taken by those monsters. I gotta have a drink. But a half year ago, the monsters showed up. It's all the monsters falling on my house now. Get my ship and house back. <laughs> a half year ago. It's the same time that Linus joined the gang. Okay, let's go to the prison islands. Well, we already talked to Pooler, and Pooler said the same thing. So I feel like... And in the prison island? Oh, he got back up. It's too sad to hear this story. The only thing we can do is buy some drinks for him. Uh, that sounds like not a good gentleman. Uh, I don't think... Anyways, I don't really think you should do that, but... So, first things first. We have to go back to Lidiera because the... Remember, there was a flood there. So, that's not actually the undersea cavern that we can see. That is Prison Island. And, obviously, we don't have much room that we can do here, right? What was that?
What is that noise? It's from over there. There must be something over there. It's not just something. It seems that the rumor about the sea dragon is true. That is the dragon's cry. I can't blame you for feeling scared. I, I'm not scared. A dragon or two is nothing. We have to look for a way to go to the prison island. Hmm. We gotta figure it out, but it's flooded. How do we get there? What about, what about that cave over in, there must be a reason for the water not ebbing. Hmm. What about that cave in Lydiera? It looks like a place that maybe water could ebb in. You know what I mean. All right, to Lydiera. Also, I noticed that Miru was kind of a big focus there. I wonder why. Anyway, so we can head to Lydiera now. And we can use this boat to go back to where these... Uh, so if we go to the Ocean Terrace, remember, we talked to these three guys over here that were playing cards. Well, guess what? One of them is the mayor, and only he can have that gate open for us. What about this guy right in the center? He feels like a mayor. Hmm. Sorry. I'm in the middle of something. Here we go, how's this? No, oh, not again! Well, I got a good win. Let's take a break. What do you want? We want to go to the prison island, but we cannot go because of the flood tide. We're wondering if there is any other way to go. You said the prison island? Are you serious? Do you want to commit suicide or something? We are serious, but we don't want to commit suicide. You know, it's dangerous to go there, young man, but uh, why? Why would you want to throw yourself into danger? Danger attracts me. Danger is my middle name. We need to see the monster. I need to see the monster. You need to see the monster? You look serious. The appearance, you you are warriors, aren't you? I, I got it, I'll tell you. But it's up to you whether you can survive there or not. I closed the route to the prison island after the monster problem arose. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fueno. That's why I closed only the path to the prison island. I have a question. How do you control the tide? It's puzzling me. Oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when the tide was full. Then even after the tide is ebbed, the water level won't go down inside. Oh my, what a simple trick. You imagined I could think of something complicated? <laughs> hey, open the gimmick gate for him. I got it. That's how they open it. He just steps in it. Go into the cave from the right side of Pete's house. Turn the valve and you can open the gate and you can go to the prison island. You're welcome. Seems like a nice guy. All right, so we can go ahead and grab, uh, go into the chest. We want to go to Pete's house here and then up towards the cave, which we actually did earlier, and it was no problemo. Wait, this way. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And there are actually going to be three chests in here that we can grab. Uh, this one is a healing rain. Uh, that one is a healing fog. We're actually going to skip it for now. And turn the valve. Turning this valve should open the gate. Actually, I lied. I can grab that chest right now. I was thinking I didn't have enough inventory. I love that you can see the water go down. Now, we can go to the prison island. Makes me think of that show, Prison Break, whatever it is. Anyways, uh, we can grab this, which right here is a healing fog. Uh, another very good item. In fact, I think that might be our first healing fog in the game. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see here. Healing fog completely recovers HP. And uh, healing rain completely recovers HP for all. 
Um, so that is that is a pretty big deal. Of course, we are maxed out on items at the moment, 32 out of 32. Uh, so we will need to use something. Luckily for us, we did get some burnouts. I do really recommend stocking up on gushing magma because just like the enemies on the Phantom Ship, everything in the prison K in the prison island is weak to uh, fire, um, except for one enemy, which isn't a big deal. So I do highly recommend stocking up on those. But because I want to work on some additions and stuff, uh, I won't I won't be spamming. Um, I won't actually be spamming magic attacks in this fight. So we can actually go to the terrace if we want uh, to talk to the mayor one more time now that we've gathered all the items. And Prison Island is the island where the sea dragon has been sleeping. In other words, the nest of the dragon. Be careful. The nest of the dragon. We've already been there, dude. We've done that. Anyways, we want to go to the pier here. You know, it's really too bad that we didn't get to tell the mayor that danger is our middle name. Uh, he won't actually accept that as an answer. He won't open the gate with it. Even though that, like, that is what we want to say, right? <laughs> I think we all can agree that we, we wanted Dart to say danger is my middle name. I'm sick and tired of sunbathing. And that's it. You have to get those chests right now. Or else I'm pretty sure you'll never be able to get them again. I want to go fishing. I want to soak myself in the hot springs in Fuano. So, uh, I think that's pretty important that you grab those two chests now while you can. Uh, because you do not have the opportunity to go back in there, uh, I'm pretty sure ever. It's permanently locked once you turn the valve and exit the cave. So, keep that in mind. I'm not, I don't know why I keep saying I'm pretty sure. I, I, I know for a fact that you can't get back in there. Anyways, uh, we, my friends, are gonna head to the prison cavern. Prison, prison, prison island on the other side of the undersea cavern. But uh, we, my friends, are going to do that in the next episode of The Legend of Dragoon. I'm so glad that we were able to reunite with our friends in this episode. And, uh, of course, I'm looking forward to the conclusion of, uh, of the Linus storyline, which I think is going to be very exciting. And, of course, I'm going to be using a very specific uh, party on that fight, which I hope you guys are excited for. Uh, so that's in the next episode. Also, I'm curious, wasn't that FMV at the beginning awesome? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you Monday, Wednesday, Friday with more Legend of Dragoon videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, never give up. Never surrender to, to falling off of the Queen Fury. Sure. <laughs>